Well, I hate to say it, but sometimes supplements just don't work. Hi, it's Andy from gymnutrition.co.uk back with another video. And in today's video, as you've seen by the intro, supplements sometimes don't work. And I hate to say this because at the end of the day, I sell supplements for a living, as you all know. Link to the website, by the way, in the old description. There's also links to Facebook and Instagram as well. So go over there, give the old pages a like and all that carry on. Uh, and if you like my old videos, well, I don't know why you would, but just in case you happen to do, and you want some honest reviews and feedback on supplements, etc., then please give us a subscribe, that'd be wonderful. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, and leave a comment below. So, let's carry on then. So the supplements don't work business. So, as I said, I hate to say this because I sell the supplements, but I want to I want to keep this channel as honest as possible, as honest as I can, all the way through. And sometimes it might mean that it's going to be what you might call a negative. Is it a negative? I don't know. You tell me. So anyway, over the years, I've always had slightly high blood pressure. Even way back in my sort of like 30s, my blood pressure was always teetering on the on the slightly high side, especially when I'm taking a course of in, back in them days steroids so back in my 30s I was probably I don't know 30 odd pounds heavier than, than I am now and my blood pressure would slightly creep up, up, up the more heavier I got and if I was on course or if I was not on a course at the time and back in those days I found that if it did creep up I would suddenly think oh god I need to do more cardio that will probably bring it down and nine times out of ten, that will bring it down if I up my cardio. So that was in my thirties. Now I'm in my mid fifties. It seems like that doesn't work, even though, like I say, I'm about, I run about thirty pounds lighter than I was back then, and I haven't took steroids for eight, nine, eight, probably ten years, something like that. So a lot of it's age related. I understand that. So my blood pressure's been creeping up and up and up. I've up my supplements to try and counteract that as well as doing the cardio which used to work back in the day and nothing seems to be working. I do take the Pure Lab Cycle Shield, I take that all year round because it has things for liver, blood pressure and prostate support. Now whether it's helping with the liver and the prostate I don't know but it's certainly not helping at the moment with my blood pressure because it has gone up to the stage where it is, I don't know what you measure it in, in the US, but in the UK, 120 over 80 seems to be like the perfect ideal norm. And mine went roughly to about 190 over 120, which is high, high. So how do I know this? Because a few years ago I purchased a blood pressure monitor I got it off eBay actually, uh, one of those one of those battery operated ones, which a lot of people will probably say, oh, they're not that accurate. Okay, yeah, they're not 100% accurate, but they're going to give you a rough figure to go by. And, it, and if it's saying to me 190 over 120, then even if it's 10% out, it's still going to be high. So what have I done about this? I increased my cardio, as I said, because that used to benefit me back in the day but it hasn't made a scrap of difference to be honest the supplements cycle shield haven't made a scrap of difference so I've resorted to going to the doctors so I booked into my local GP and they done the blood pressure and it was high high and they said you need to go on meds ASAP so they put me on Amlod amlodipine, if that's how you say it. They put me on amlodipine, five milligram, once a day. And within, within a week, my blood pressure's down to normal levels. Now, I don't really like taking meds, but there comes a time and a situation that I've obviously reached that time and situation where it's, 
it's better to take the meds than not take the meds because at my age I'm going to get a stroke or a heart attack with blood pressure of that sort of magnitude so I've decided to go down that route so I suppose the moral of the story is keep an eye on your blood pressure it's easy to do I mean I'm always saying about people oh oh if you if you want to know if you want to know what's going on within your body if you're taking like a psalms course or a steroid course or whatever you need a blood test and i know in reality that most people are not going to get a blood test because it is a ball ache and you've got to pay for it and blah 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 so a lot of people are not going to bother doing the blood blood test i i, I understand and i realize that but blood pressure you've got no excuse i i bought the blood pressure monitor probably it probably cost me 20 30 quid um, you know 30 40 dollars or whatever so it's not an expensive bit of equipment to have in your house and you can wrap the cuff around your cuff around your, around your arm do your blood pressure it's it's quick easy non-intrusive etc etc there's no excuse not to do it um, it could save your life it, I mean it might have saved my life we're not gonna know really but I thought I'd do the responsible thing. So I wanted to let you guys know what's going on because, like I said, I like to keep the channel honest. And yeah, I want to sell supplements. I, I want to be able to take, in this instance, the, the Cycle Shield and say to you guys, I tell you what, since I took that Cycle Shield, my blood pressure's come right down. And uh, there's a link to the product below. Buy yours now. Blah, 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 blah. And I'll sell more product. But it's not always the case and this is me being 100 percent honest so i just wanted to share that got with you guys so uh hopefully you're all oh, having having a stretch hopefully you're not having a stretch hopefully you're all doing well in this uh crazy world we're living in and if you got to the end of this video i appreciate that and i'll uh, speak to you on the next one